How to add countdown timer to Shopify. What's up guys, my name is Krause and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a countdown timer onto your Shopify store. I'm going to show you how to actually add this onto your product page as well as the just default Shopify homepage and I'm basically going to show you how to customize and set up everything in this video. So to get started just head over to your Shopify dashboard and then just click on settings on the bottom left and open up the Shopify app store right here. Now, as you all know, usually I'm not a really big fan of installing a lot of apps on your store because if you are going to have 10, 20 apps, this can significantly reduce the loading speed of your store and therefore also basically just you can lose conversions with this essentially. However, for this countdown timer app, you basically will have to install an app and I will show you which one we are going to use. However, I also researched this and we are going to use a countdown timer, which is going to be relatively lightweight when and which isn't going to uh, basically decrease your loading speed of your store so the one that we are going to use is going to be this uh, FOMO sales countdown timer bar and as you can see right here the price of this is going to be completely free that's also a reason why I'm going to recommend it to you there are a lot of other paid ones out there but honestly I think this one just either way is the best one so to get started just click on install right here and then you will be redirected to the actual installation page so make sure to just install this right here and once we have installed this on our store as you can see now this is going to be this setup so make sure to just go through this make sure to actually enable this app so right here on the left just make sure that this right here is going to be enabled under app embeds and then also save this otherwise this isn't going to be applied and then let's just simply go back to this right here then click on next and now we can actually just start with customizing our sales countdown timer so first of all step one we will have to give this a name now your cust basically your customers won't see this however i would recommend you to just put in the name of the actual product that you want to add this to or for example if you do want to add this to the home page just name this home page but in my case I'm going to use it uh, basically I'm going to add it on my product page so I'm just going to put in product and then I'm going to put in oversized hoodie as I'm going to add it to my oversized hoodie right here and then as you can see right here we are also going to have a lot of different options uh, basically which we can add so first of all we do have the sales countdown timer which is just going to be a block on the pages of discounted products you also do have the top bottom information countdown timer basically this kind of works as an announcement bar this is fixed or sticky and this will then just show up the timer essentially you can also put in a product page uh, informative countdown timer and then you can also put in a card page a countdown timer now in this case I'm actually going to use this sales countdown timer and then I'm just going to click on next right here so then once we are going to be redirected we are going to see an basically a preview of this right here on the right we can then for example change up the font as you can see uh, this right here on the right would be the default font we can also change this to Arial if you want to to impact or to I don't know basically you can uh, customize this you are going to have some options however I personally do actually like the default font the most we can also then change the size of this so let's for example make it a little bit bigger something like this and then we can also change the text so I'm just going to for example change this to sale and soon and then as for the timer message right here, we can, for example, leave this at don't miss out the chance. However, we can also customize this to our likings. Uh, we can, for example, change up the text right here. Now, I'm not going to do this right now. However, you can customize this to whatever you want. And then as for the starts right here, you can then set the actual start date of this and you can then also add the end date. So in my case, I'm just going to say that this is going to end in two days times. And then I'm going to basically add this right here. We can also enable this button, which is going to basically just be, I don't know, maybe by now. But I would actually recommend you to just uh, leave this turned on if you don't have a clear idea on what you're going to use this for, as this may be going to disrupt the actual customer purchase process essentially. So I'm just going to disable this right now and then we can actually choose the design of this. So first of all, the top bar design, you are going to have tons of different uh, 
basically templates which you can all use um, now as you can see some of these are actually going to be paid i guess so you will have to actually contact the support for these ones however i think the default ones do work just as fine and in my case i'm just going to go for this default bar right here as for the wallpaper you can basically change this so you can for example put in this right here you can change this one this one and basically you can customize this to whatever you want in my case i'm just going to add this smooth little texture right here uh, onto the background as you can see this is going to be slightly visible but this is basically just kind of an add-on and then as for the actual widget design we can change up the background color if we want to maybe we're going to change this to white we can also change this to red and so on we can change the border radius and as you can see right here, I think actually this does look pretty good. So we can just make this kind of round, I guess. We can change the border width and so on. So basically you can just go ahead and customize this to your likings, depending on how you want to actually display this and uh, basically where you want to display this. As for the title and subheading domain, uh, the sign right here, sorry, you can also change this right here to show up on the left. You can change the title font color. So you can change this to basically whatever you want. You can also change the subheading font color as well as the overall title uh, padding and line height. And then as for the countdown timer design, uh, basically this is going to be the same procedure all over again. You can just change this depending on your personal preferences. As for the button design and so on, you can just change this. Now, as for animation, this is also super important. Right here, you are going to have the option to actually add an animation onto this. So in my case, I'm going to use the, let's see, maybe the zoom in option or maybe the fade in. Actually, uh, let's just use the uh, slide in down option right here. And we can then also preview this for mobile. And if you actually like the design of this, just make sure to click on next. And now this is actually going to be uh, automatically applied onto your store so then you will actually have to enable this for certain products so i'm just going to show this on my oversized zipper as we've mentioned beforehand so i'm going to add this however you can actually also add other products onto this so if you for example also do want to show this on this in my case this hoodie i will just uh, select this right here uh, actually we, not, we do need to save this so just click right here continue with selected products and then we can also basically set the card value show your l and so on now in my case as we are just going to use this for our normal product page i'm not going to do this right here so i'm just going to click on next and then we will have to make sure that this is actually going to be enabled in the theme settings. However, I think we've actually already, as you can see, we already uh, did this beforehand. So I'm then just going to click on save on the top right. I'm just going to click on, I will check later. And if we're now going to preview our store, I'm just going to click on customize right here. Uh, let's for example, open up this hoodie. And as you can see, um, now this is actually going to show up right here. We can then actually also customize this by dragging this around. So in this case, I'm going to move it to the top. And as you can see, now we do have the timer right here on the top. Actually, I will I will probably put it under the buy button right here. But either way, you can also customize this just depending on your likings, depending on your product and so on. And if you would now want to actually add a timer onto your Shopify homepage, you could also do this by simply just creating a new timer from it here. Click on create on the top left. And in this case, for the Shopify homepage, uh, you would probably just add this top bottom informative countdown timer and this would then be the same procedure all over again you would then just have to simply customize this and so on basically the setup is going to be the same so i don't want to waste your time and i'm not going to go over this right now we all know that starting a successful shopify store can be super hard that's why i'm right now giving out my shopify course for completely free now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your shopify success in that exact course so make sure to click on the link down below to get started.